Space Tech Expo 2019, and from Maxar now I have Al Tadros. Welcome to Space Tech Expo, first of all, Al. Thank you very much, it's an exciting time. It really is, and good to see you again. A very exciting conference session today on the, uh, the commercialization of the low Earth orbit over the next decade. Just give me a few uh, pointers from that and how that discussion went. Sure, yeah, I was on a very interesting panel just the past hour and a half. Uh, the topic of LEO commercialization. NASA is looking at how do they spread the wealth uh, in low Earth orbit uh, with industry as they think about going beyond low Earth orbit with humans. So the space station has been a huge investment by NASA and they're inviting industry to do experiments, look at commercial uses. And we were one of the people that looked at uh, commercial applications uh, that we can start on space station and then spread beyond. So that's a little bit of what we discussed uh, on the panel. And there was a lot of uh, discussion of collaboration in that aim, wasn't there? That's right. Uh, NASA's been great about collaborating and inviting collaboration. Uh, the national lab that's on station does amazing science experiments. Uh, NanoRacks is uh, helping by doing space uh, small satellite deployments and other uh, experiments on, on station. There's a lot of effort going into the collaboration with uh, U.S. industry and then internationals as well. You were talking there of the collaboration with NASA, of course. You're a long-trusted contractor with, uh, with those guys. Tell me about the role of the SSL robotic arm in the recent InSight lander. Sure. So um, Maxar, uh, our former uh, name is SSL, and Maxar has been around for now 62 years, long time, going way back to uh, the beginning of NASA, actually. Uh, some of our early work was uh, the Voyager antennas, the iconic antennas that are now uh, on Voyager 1 and 2 that are outside the solar system are some of the early programs that we worked. Uh, we've worked five Mars uh, landers that uh, have had robotic arms that we built um, with NASA and JPL. InSight was the most recent lander uh, that had our robotic arm. Um, and we built that arm in order to um, basically offload the payloads from the lander to the surface of Mars so it can study the tectonics of the Mars surface, which is very interesting. Now, challenges and opportunities. Every industry has them. What are yours right now? That's a great question. Uh, if you can imagine, right now there are many companies looking at self-driving cars on Earth. We have similar problems in space. Uh, in a lot of places we don't have humans or even roads, but we still need to have mobility. Rovers on the moon, for example, will be needing autonomy. Autonomy is a big item uh, of interest and autonomy in unstructured environments like the, mar the moon surface. That's one big area. Manipulation and robotics for self-assembling satellites. That's another big area that we're working and working with NASA in particular. And when we, uh, when we get to the end of every day and Al goes home, what's the one thing that still keeps you excited about space? You know, I love describing to my kids uh, what I do at work and then showing them pictures. Uh, it's a very, you know, vi video and graphic rich kind of uh, business that we live in. So uh, e exploration is, is a big exciting uh, aspect to it. Technology, if you're a technologist, it's just a playground of, uh, of fun. So lots of things get me excited. Al, thank you for your time. Absolutely, thank you.